Well, it's Tuesday uh-huh. <laughs> again. Yep. <laughs> and for the last two weeks, we've been doing the logging engines that are going on the logging railroad. And we're continuing. With yes, that. we are. <laughs> we're, we've dug out the junkyard dog at this point. This is a, a Bachman Climax. And uh, I got this very, very used off of eBay. And it's got more dirt. There's enough dirt just it on the... It looks authentic. It yeah. looks like it's been sitting out a while. This is not weathering. No. Nope. This, uh, <laughs> this is actual filth. And the oil that's all running down the side, which we can smell, it's just percolating up, uh, is uh, oil that never found its way into the smoker and has been dripped there. Plus, the gears are well lubricated with something that smells a bit like sewing machine oil. Yeah, I can't miss that. Which I don't think is proper for these gears. Anyway, um, as is typical of all these other engines, I've never run this thing. Oh, serious? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to do something about that. So let's, let's haul it in there and, and <laughs> put some power to it and see what the heck it does. See what it does. It seems to run yeah. actually really well. I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Uh, although, you know, getting it from someone, you just never know when you're getting something off eBay. You just don't know. Is it going to run at all? Is right. it going to run really well? But it's clearly had its wheels run off. Right. And um, in this case, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Well, that's and great. The fact that it's been run to death by someone <laughs> has actually made it run quite well. Well, that's neat. I'm really impressed with this little guy. It, it has a few problems. The stack is missing. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we have a bunch of spare stacks, so that shouldn't pose too much of an issue. This is off of a Shea. Right. Um, but it doesn't fit the hole. No, and it doesn't fit the coal in the back either. It's a diamond stack. Well, it could work, it for, can a, work. for a coal <laughs> engine, sure. <laughs> Oh, but I'd like to make all of these engines wood. Wood, yeah, like for the logging, the logging engines, mm -hmm. with the exception maybe of the big Mally or something. Right. But I, I measured this, and and uh, the nub on here is about fifty thousandths bigger than the hole here. Mm. So I think actually that's going to be a pretty simple fix, yeah, and I think it looks good with that I particular like stack on, on there. there. It gives it a really knobby uh -huh. look. Climaxes in general have just such a knobby look. They're, they're different. They're little teeny lightweight engines. They make a Shea look like a big massive engine. Yeah. And the way they've got the the uh, crankshaft here, we had the Heisler last week, which has the pistons running down this way. On the Climax, they're, they're angled this way. They don't look that much different than a rod engine, except that the side rods are up at this funny angle. And when they go down to what would be the drivers, they're just going down to a flywheel. Hmm. And then you have the gearbox and the main drive line, very much like on a Heisler, hmm. which I love these geared engines. They're neat. I can see where they'd be really efficient because you have gravity working with you too. Well, and no matter, you know, with a, with a rod engine, the gearing, if we want to call it the gearing, is relative to the wheel size. Right. So if you want to go 100 miles an hour, you need an 80 inch driver. And then as it's doing this, you can put down that much mileage for mm. every revolution, uh, for every reciprocation of the cylinders. You want more power, you've right. got to go slower, so you go to a smaller and smaller wheel. Well, unless mm -hmm. you want to put skateboard wheels on your locomotive. That could look really fine. That could look fine. There's a, there's a finite amount of smallness that you can make on your wheels before you just reach the ridiculous. <laughs> and Here's the solution. Yeah, there you go. Don't run the rods down to the drive wheels. Run them down to a crankshaft. Well, there you go. Uh, or in, uh, not, in this case, uh, a crank, bell crank, really, mm -hmm. with a drive line and a gearbox and, and universal joints and uh, effectively some, something similar to a, an automobile differential. I was going to say differential. A slant, slant six and yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Just different. Just really different. What a fun little engine, yeah. though, and I'm so pleasantly surprised. I mean, it needs a bath. It does. Uh, we'll and take it needs it to a the stack. Train watch. <laughs> but, you know, uh, all of these engines are going to get reworked. Yes, they are. For the, for the railroad. Of course. Uh, I want to 
I don't know. I'm, I'm debating whether I want to keep uh, Ely Thomas because two of the engines are painted that way. Two of the engines have no name at all. Mm. And one has Oregon Lumber Company. So if I keep Ely Thomas, I don't have to repaint. I, that's kind of a moot point, isn't it? <laughs> you kicked up some dust. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry. <laughs> I did, didn't I? You did. It was a cloud. Whew. Yeah, we could take this thing to the car wash, but I think that would be somewhat inappropriate. The train wash. The train wash. <laughs> but it has, a, it has a, a really neat uh, light in the firebox I that flickers. It. And just oh, cool. a smoker, needless to say, yeah. which is what we're smelling. Um, I'm not that into smokers. Um, they're okay, but... I, I just want, want to watch the train run along. I don't care. Because the smoke never looks realistic. It's it's fun. Yeah. I can understand why the Lionel guys love it and that sort of thing. Oh, it, it makes something interesting. But. It's it's fun for toy trains, but for right. me, it's just a little distracting. Anyway, a little work on this guy. and uh, It's going to be up and running. It's going to be top notch. I want to get rid of the coal load. <laughs> and put some wood put some and wood. a diamond stack. and, and Oh, just, that would be uh, fun. Just a, a wee bit of fix up, and I'm yeah. so pleasantly surprised that it runs so That's well. That's awesome. Yep. It and looks these, like these, it these are fairly available. Uh, Bachman did them, I think, a couple of different runs. Mm -hmm. All of these early Bachmans, well, Bachmans in general, have some mechanical issues, and, and people have talked about these breaking gears. But I've looked at the gears in here, and they, they seem just fine. Well, that's good. Everything. So I don't know if. Huh. Uh, if any work was ever done on them by the previous owner, I doubt it. <laughs> I think it's just, you know, the, the, the big nasty one was the first generation yeah. Shea. And those just, they just yeah. fail. They're, they're, it's sad. a given. The only question is how many feet is it going to go before the gears <laughs> fall completely apart. It's That's sad. sad. It's really sad. Anyway, there it is. The Bachman Climax uh, logging locomotive. In, they say it's in G scale. G scale? But I think it's actually F scale. I, it's 20.3, 20, 20 huh. not 22.5, but they put a G on it, which really means that it's. No, we don't want to go into the. It's a 20.3 scale locomotive. Anyway, there yeah. it is. Dusty. Well, if you haven't been over to the <laughs> channel, please pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe with the blue button. Are we ready for that? Sure. Zoink! Right there. <laughs> A blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet, and we hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday because we're building the railroad for this uh, to go on. Yeah. We'll see you we'll then. See you. Bye. Bye bye.